Today's Bible story is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 18. It's a parable that Jesus told his followers. It's called a parable because although it is a made-up story, it has a very important lesson behind it. There once was a king who decided it was time to collect all the money he had loaned out to his servants. There was one servant in particular who owed him an amount equal to like millions and millions of dollars. So the king said, bring that servant to me. The servant came into the king's court and knelt down in front of the king. The king said, servant, you have a large debt that you owe me. You must pay it now or else. The servant was desperate. He replied to the king, oh king, please be patient with me and I'll pay it. The king felt sorry for the servant and said, I've decided to forgive you of your debt. You no longer owe me any money. The servant jumped for joy. He was so excited to be forgiven of the debt. Yippee! Ha ha! Ha ha! He skipped out of the king's court. And on his way out, he ran into a fellow servant. This servant had borrowed some money from the first servant. It wasn't a lot. You know, just like a few dollars. The first servant grabbed the second servant by the throat and screamed, Give me my money! Pay me what you owe me! The second servant began to beg. Oh, please, sir, give me more time. I will pay you back. Have mercy on me. But the first servant demanded that the second servant be thrown into prison until he was able to pay the debt. Meanwhile, the king heard about what the first servant had done. He demanded that the servant come back to his court. He said, you wicked servant, I forgave you that huge debt. Shouldn't you have forgiven the other man? I command that you be thrown into prison until you pay back every penny of the money you owe me. And that's exactly what happened. In your lesson today, you're going to learn what Jesus was trying to teach us through this parable. You're going to learn that you must forgive others as you have been forgiven. Listen closely. It's a very important lesson. All right, guys, forgive everyone. Woo! This is a tough lesson, but it's a really good one, guys, because um, unforgiveness can keep you from your destiny, and it makes you really unhappy. So we definitely need to talk about this, all right? So have you ever been done wrong? Have you ever been done wrong? I'm sure you have. Has somebody done something to you that was awful? I mean, stolen something from you, hurt you physically, hurt you um, emotionally called you names? I don't know. I'm sure maybe all of it, right? Uh, I, me too. I've done my, I actually have a big sister that would torment me when I was little. She put daddy long like spiders on my head. Um, and what do you feel like doing when someone does something wrong to you? You know what I feel like doing? I, my first reaction is I want to get them back. And I did when I was little, I actually kicked my sister in the knee with a roller skate. That was a bad choice. So our, but our, our first reaction is we want them to pay for what they did, right? We want to get them back. Um, but God says, no, he says, no, don't do that. He says, forgive them, which basically means let it go. Don't make them pay you back and forgive them from your heart. Almost forgive and forget, you know, just psh, like it didn't even, like it never happened. He wants us to forgive them. And why? Why would God ask us to do that? So let's take a look at this, all right? Okay. So our first thing is number one, choosing not to forgive others hurts me more than it hurts them. And what does that mean? So we're going to actually act like this skull represents the thing someone did wrong to me, okay? Um, let's say like my sister, you know, putting dad, daddy long legs, or actually there, I had a friend who, who did something really wrong to me and she was my friend actually. She, she, she didn't keep her word and it cost me thousands of dollars and she knew it and she did it on purpose and she was looking out for herself about something and it wasn't right. It was really wrong. And, um, to me and she did it, oh, right? Hurt you right in the heart. Oops, I hit the mic. And, um, and, and if I just, first of all, actually, when it first happened, I did go to God and like, God, make her pay. I was so mad. And, um, 
And, and when we try to get that person back, you know, or if we're holding that unforgiveness, like it says, it hurts us. It's almost like, like, let's pretend this is poison. It's like taking poison. Ah, die enemy, get, ah, you're gonna get hurt. It's like taking poison, hoping that it hurts the other person. Is me taking poison gonna hurt somebody else? No, it's not, right guys? And that's what it's like when we hold on forgiveness and want against other people. We are the one, we are the only ones being hurt. They're probably living their best life, not even remembering it. And all we can do is think about that. And it just makes you grumpy and it makes your heart unhappy, guys. That's all it does, okay? So um, that's one reason why God wants us to let go of the unforgiveness because he knows us holding on to that just is, makes us unhappy. It, it really, and it'll keep you from the good things that God has from your life, all right? And, um, and why? Here, here's why. Because when I choose not to forgive others, God will not forgive me. That's what the Bible says. It actually says that because after the story, it says Jesus refers to the story and he says, that's what my heavenly father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. He's basically saying God doesn't forgive your sins because um, in the story, God, the king represents God, okay? And when we go to God and we, you know, Jesus becomes the, the savior of our life, God forgives all of our sin. The Bible says we've all done things wrong. We've all sinned. We've all made bad choices and that sin is against God. But when we go to God and, and, um, and ask for forgiveness, right? And make Jesus our Lord and savior. That's how we can ask for forgiveness. God takes our sin. Shoo. Ready? Look, we'll put it in there. He takes that and he totally, shoo, he totally washes it away. Totally, totally washes it away and forgives us totally. But, and that's why he wants us to do the same thing because we didn't deserve that forgiveness. No, it's only because of what Jesus did. So he wants us to do the same thing when other people sin against us. God wants us to totally let it go like he let our sins go. But if we don't, then that sin can separate us from God. It, it totally messes up our relationship with God. It makes you grumpy and it's yuck. And, um, and here's the thing is that really the other people, guys, they're not our enemies anyways. We have an enemy. His name is Satan, um, the devil. And he tries to use other people. And that's why it's his one of his ways that he tries to keep us from the good things God has from us. He just wants us angry and bitter and mad and trying to get people back and that just keeps us distracted and unhappy and it actually never gets them back. <laughs> so um, that's one of the reasons why, because God knows if we don't let it go, we're not forgiven and we need to know. Here's the thing is some people don't realize just how much they've been forgiven. Some people think, oh, I'm so good, you know, and that person just, it's so bad. But the truth is we've all done bad things. We've all done bad things and we all, need forgiveness. So we need to realize that and be free to forgive others. Okay. And so what do we need to do? We forgiveness is a choice guys. I must choose to forgive. I must choose to set them free. All right. And that's what I ended up doing guys. Cause I know what is, I know that I knew about this. Okay. And so after I cried to God, I was like, God, just make lightning come down. I mean, I was so angry and so hurt. And then after I cried to God, and it's okay to go crying to God, God, I mean, I didn't hear the audible voice, but I knew. God's like, no, no, I want you to forgive. You know what the word says. It says forgive. And Anna, I want you to bless them. Okay. And that's actually what the Bible says. It says bless. The Bible says it. Bless the people that do you wrong. Give to the people that take from you. That's actually what the Bible says. It says, pray for those that hurt you. That's what the Bible says. And the reason why, guys, is it because it helps us to get free. It's like a supernatural helping because it's not easy. So I actually, uh, I kind of was grumpily about, God, what? But I, I, I obeyed in this case. I, I called up that person. I said, okay, not only I forgive you for, for 
doing that and costing me thousands of dollars. And not only that, I'm gonna give you um, thousands of dollars worth of stuff that, that you, you know, that I could have gone and just taken back my stuff and would have had the other part, you know, um, but I gave it to her. I gave her, I said, you can have it. You can have it all, just take it. And I did. Um, and, but you know what? In the end, do you think God took care of me? Yes, he did. First of all, I was free of the forgiveness, you know, of, of the unforgiveness. I was free. Woo. And, and guys, I, it was something actually too, that I had to, sometimes, you know, I, I, I chose, I said, I forgive this person and then I prayed for them and then I blessed them. But, um, but it's something that I kind of really had to forgive them a lot because if I thought about it again, ah, it was like, I got hurt all over again. It's almost like picking a scab. All of a sudden it's bleeding again. And I had to choose to forgive again. And, and sometimes you just have to say, I choose to forgive. I forgive that person. Um, cause you might be saying, well, how do I do that? I don't feel like it. Well, the first step is just speaking it and choosing to forgive. Okay, God, I want to obey you. I say, I forgive that person. Okay. By your help in Jesus name. And I bless that person. Please, God, I pray for them. I pray that they can know you. I pray that they can fall in love with you. I pray for help for them. Um, and then I'm telling you, it's, it's a step number three, but it's a, it's a, it helps. You can bless them. You can actually do something nice for them. Yeah. And, and it's supernatural. And you know what ended up happening in the long run for me? Um, because God only tells you to do this because God's looking out for you, by the way. God's never trying to take anything from you. He's trying to help you. And in the end, when I did that, um, well, actually, right after that happened, we got water damage at our house. And I was kind of like, God, what are you doing? I, I'm like sitting here doing what you asked me to do. And now I've got water damage. Something happened with the bathtub and there was water all over my house. But, you know, because of that water, we called, we got it fixed, called a plumber, got it fixed. The insurance people came out. And they gave us thousands of dollars to fix it. And I got a brand new kitchen. And because we did the work ourselves, I got brand new appliances. And then we sold our house and um, God multiplied. And I got thousands and thousands of dollars back. Uh, so God paid me back way beyond what I had been taken and what I gave. God took care of me and he's going to take care of you. But if we try to make the person pay, you're going to pay. Ah, that's like taking the poison and nothing ever is going to get better. And I'm telling you, probably that person's going to have better things happen. To them. I mean, so, but if we just let it go, God's going to take care of us and God will deal with the other person because the Bible says you reap what you sow. So eventually it, that person is going to pay in some way for that hard thing, but not as long as you're trying to make them pay. So guys, I'm I just, I'm telling you, God wants good for you and he only wants good things. So follow him, do what he says, obey him. And really we, just like that story, we need to do it really because he did it way more for us. It is like he's forgiven us millions of dollars. And when we're trying to make someone else, when we un hold unforgiveness against them, it is like holding $10 over them. It really is. And, um, and you need to pray for God's help to be able to see that because, um, because it is. And, and so guys, this is supernatural. You can't do this without God's help. And like I said, it's a choice. Sometimes you might not feel like you have forgiven them. That's why doing these extra things kind of helps you, Ugh, helps it, Ugh, get it away. And you might have to forgive them a hundred times a day. Every time you think about it, oh, I choose, I forgive them, God, I forgive them. I don't want it. I don't want that unforgiveness. I bless them. I pray for them. Give them, look, I got, someone did us wrong too. Again, people are going to do you wrong all throughout life. Just so you know, it's just going to happen. And you're going to do people wrong too. There it is. And you need forgiveness. Um, and even though you might not want to, okay. Uh, and I forgave them. And at first I, I mean, guys, I'm telling you, it's not like I'm perfect. Or I don't struggle. I struggle when this, this other person had done me wrong. They actually done my husband wrong, mainly more me too. But I just told I actually went around and told everybody, can you believe this? Can you believe they did that? I mean, that's why I did it first. That was sin. I had to ask God for forgiveness, okay, too. I had to ask for forgiveness for doing that, running my mouth. I was so mad. And I asked God for forgiveness, chose to forgive. And later on, sent that person a gift card and a card in the mail. Guys, I'm telling you, it's worth it. You don't want the unforgiveness. We don't want it. We don't want it. 
and we don't need it. And, and I'm telling you, and even the first place too, just so you know, remember the first friend I told you that did me wrong? She actually came back like 10 years later, okay? And she asked for forgiveness, all right? So look, God's gonna take care of you. He is, he's faithful and he loves you. He's got your back, he does. And he never does us wrong. So that's cool, that's one thing cool. But I'm gonna pray for you about this and pray for me because this ain't easy, but it's worth it. And we need God's help. Supernatural love of God. You have to know God. You have to have a relationship with God, okay? You have to have received forgiveness to be able to give it. So if you don't know God, then um, look on our, actually on our video channel, um, Kid Life, we actually have a, a, a video that says how you can know God because you have to have his love in your heart to be able to do this. This is supernatural. You can't do it on your own. All right, I'm gonna pray for you. I'm gonna pray for me. Lord, I thank you that you care about us, God, and that you always have our back. You see what other people do when they do us wrong. I thank you that you see and I thank you that you care, God. Help us to let go and forgive when people do us wrong. And God, take care of us. Help us, God. I know you do. We need your supernatural help to do this. And we pray that you fight our battles, God. We give it to you. Help my friends. Help them remember this lesson. Help them choose to forgive. Help them pray for their enemies. Help them bless their enemies. Help me too. Um, uh, help us. It's supernatural. We need your help. And we pray you take care of us, God, just like you promised to. That you'll even work it for our good. Because you love us. Help us, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Hey friends, I wanted to ask you, will you please like this video by clicking the thumbs up? And please hit the subscribe button if you like it, then you can get all our videos. And also, can you feed me a worm, please?